Good Thursday, everyone. I'm meteorologist Dave Snyder at the National Weather Service with Alaska statewide weather. A cold front is dropping across the interior of Alaska and the west coast with north and easterly winds coming in behind that. Still seeing some rain across the lower and middle Yukon Valley, but snow is falling across the Arctic coast as colder high pressure moves ashore around Barrow and out toward Wainwright. In the meantime, over the Gulf of Alaska, clearly seen on the satellite picture is a 974 millibar low that's south of Kodiak Island and creating storm force winds out across the Gulf of Alaska. Strong winds and heavy rain will develop as we head through the remainder of Thursday afternoon and evening for southeastern Alaska. Offshore and outside marine waters could start to see gale to storm force winds with 15 to 25 foot waves and a southeasterly flow. Might even see a few thunderstorms with the cold air aloft in the warm ocean water near southeast Alaska. In the inside water, storm to gale force winds will continue to build with higher gusts and narrow channels and that could continue through Saturday morning in southeast. The land areas are looking Looking at wind gusts 40 to 50 miles per hour developing late this afternoon and through the evening hours all the way through Friday night. On top of that, two to three inches of rain through Saturday morning could be found across many in southeastern Alaska backyards. As we look at tonight, a cold front will continue to work its way across the Arctic coast. Uh, the main blast of cooler air across the west coast will tend to dry things out. You'll see a lot more sunshine across the west coast, all the way from places like Ambler down toward Amonic, uh, Newtok down toward Dillingham, and King Salmon, in fact. But once you get to the Alaska Peninsula, areas of low clouds and drizzle should be expected. You might run into some fog bags there, but there will be patches of drier weather west of the Pribilovs as high pressure is still in command out there. Low pressure east of Prince William Sound and west of Yakutat at 981 millibars will push a frontal boundary right up against southeast and that's going to push a lot more wind and water across the southeastern areas as well as the northern Gulf Coast. The low will back up to the west on Saturday dragging in colder air across south central and pushing wetter and warmer air into Prince William Sound and the Chugach. Southeast may see the winds relax a little bit as we get into late Saturday. There will still be some rain in the region. Snow is possible across parts of the middle and eastern interior. The eastern interior could be looking at 2 to 4 inches of snow with the Alaska range up to 8 inches of snow. And some parts of south central, especially the hillside and the mountaintops, could be looking at some inches of accumulation as well. With Alaska statewide weather, I'm meteorologist Dave Snyder. Be sure and check your forecast online at weather.gov Alaska or your NOAA weather.